I had to witness this proud moment. My little sister's still in high school and she's already mastered the walk of shame. Do I look ashamed to you? If you're not, you definitely should be. Just what sort of tawdry business did you get up to all night? Oh, that's so much better. Oh, my dogs are barking. Rub them, will you? I refuse to approach your stank ass feet. Now answer my question, young lady. Where were you? Uh, with TJ. Okay, let me rephrase that. Where were you and TJ for hours and hours after curfew? Oh, you were serious about that? <laughs> As serious as I am about my alcohol, why is there half a bottle missing? Can you keep your squawking to a minimum? I'm sleeping for two. You know, it looks like I got to Port Charles just in time. You know, you are in dire need of listening that I time. I want my booze back. I didn't drink it. Then who did? Sabrina can't hold a grudge, much less her alcohol. So what? I'm the only other person who lives here? What about her? Hello? Pregnant? By someone. Mama and Daddy trust me to keep you out of trouble, but there's only so much I can do. You stay out all night, you drink my vodka, and you do who knows what with boys. So you know exactly what. And it's different from what you did. How? The difference is, I can't end up like her. You can. Oh, uh, you're not dragging me into your slut shaming. Slut shaming? Are, are you kidding? Who's more sex positive than me? Then why the double standard? In your case, I just want... Oh, what? Wait, it's different for me. Boys will be boys. I just want you to be safe. Trust me. I didn't get pregnant last night. You didn't behave yourself either. Look, we talked about this, Tay. If you can't obey my rules, then... What? You're gonna... What, you're gonna rat me out to Mama and Daddy? Go right ahead. Okay, I'm sure they'd love to hear from me about everything. You know what? Forget it. Um, I don't got time for this nonsense. I gotta go to work. Nice job. I have never seen anyone handle Felix like that. Oh, I've had a lot of practice. I got that impression. So, what's your secret? What do you have on him? I guess we're... You know, I hope you're not trying to get between me and my brother. No, of course not. I'm just curious. Good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm exhausted. A girl needs her beauty sleep. <laughs> and to get rid of the evidence. Oh, well, just between us girls, you might want to grab a bottle of water, too. Should help with that hangover. Well, I can use it to take my aspirin. Actually, I'd advise against that. You'll only agitate your stomach lining. I have some vitamin B pills in the medicine cabinet. Why don't you take one of those instead? Thanks for the tip. So, you had a good time last night, huh? Better than some. I mm. Thanks. I didn't get to go to my own prom. So, what did you do? You didn't go to prom? Why not? Uh, my mother thought that it was beneath me. So, what did you do? Did you dance? Did you... I uh, never got the chance. Prom was canceled. Canceled? Oh, it's all good. I know how to make my own fun. So, what did you do instead? I just rode around the limo, had some drinks, did it with my date. You moved on. So, you had sexual intercourse with your date. I just call it sex, but what ifs? Did you use protection? What do you care? I'm a doctor. I, I care about your health, and you should too. Unprotected sex can expose you to disease, not to mention the risk of pregnancy. Yeah, I guess you know all about that, huh? You're right. I would. But don't worry, okay? <clears throat> we use condoms. Good to hear. And I I'm glad you had fun with TJ. Although I have to admit, I'm actually surprised. I thought that he was hung up on that little drip Molly. Oh, he was. Okay, but now that I've shown TJ how to have a good time, he's over her, and he's never looking back. If that's how you think you're gonna hold on to TJ, you got another thing coming. You. What do you know about me and TJ? More than I'd like to. The father of this baby wasn't exactly available when I decided I had to have him. He was still grieving his late wife and was not ready for a relationship, but that didn't stop me from making a play for him. I thought that I could make him love me, that he'd want me for the way that I looked, and it worked for a minute. Well, see, 
You got what you wanted. Well, he found me attractive, sure, but that wasn't enough. Because he wanted another little drip. Look, in the end, Felix is right. Patrick is with Sabrina, and I'm out in the cold with the baby coming. Hold up. I, I'm not trying to land a husband, okay? All I want from TJ is a good time. So I'm sorry, but our situations are completely different. I hope so, for your sake. And look, I don't want anyone to make the same kind of mistakes that I've made and the kind my mother made. The kind that get bigger and bigger, and before you know it, there's no way to fix them. And there you are, stuck with them for the rest of your life. We need to get you home. Is it safe? Come in. Felix and Sabrina are at work. <laughs> Man, it is a beautiful day, isn't it? I wouldn't know. I can't leave the house, remember? <sighs> What's got you in such a chippy mood? Oh, uh, I just happened to see a pretty good show. Actually, more than good. It was, uh, memorable. How nice for you. Anyway, I thought that you might want this. Now, that is all the medical information I was keeping for you. It's uh, safer with you than with me. Hey, mind if I use your bathroom? 